Okay, so here we've got uh, a circle theorems question. If you need to look up the circle theorems to remind yourself what they are, then I suggest you do that. One of the annoying things about this question is it says you must give a reason for each stage in your working. So every calculation that we do, we've got to give a reason for it. So all sorts of things going on here. Um, well, I'm just sometimes it's difficult to spot where the starting point is, and I appreciate that. But I'm going to start by drawing in a chord between B and D. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, then you really do need to go and look up uh, some of this stuff. Now, that tells me that this angle up here um, Let's try this again. So, this angle here, that is equal to 54 degrees. So, a, B, D is equal to 54 degrees. And the reason I know that is that alternate, alternate segment theorem. So in this angle, this chord, this angle must be the same. I therefore know that this angle here a b or oh, sorry a d b a d b is also fifty four degrees because it's an isosceles triangle and that's because of this line and this line here. Now what else have we got? Well so in an isosceles triangle well in a triangle if this is 54 and 54, that adds up to 108. So this angle up here must be 72 degrees. So angle BAD, bad. Angle BAD is equal to 72 degrees. And the reason for this is because there's 180 degrees. In the triangle. And now, final final point is if I now just draw around the outside here ABCD is a quadrilateral and that tells me that the angle BCD which is the one that we want BCD is now equal to well opposite angles add up to um, opposite angles in a quadrilateral cyclic quadrilateral add up to 180 so that means that must be 108 degrees because opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral equal 180 degrees and eventually we got there eventually step by step justify giving a reason at each stage and adding it to my diagram we then came to that conclusion that it was 108 degrees now you might have to go back and look like I said look at these circle theorems because that might help you to understand where I've got all these little bits from